training and build this basic body or house of knowledge, built fast and cheap. You put out your sign, you're ready to conduct investigations. Allegations come in and things seem to be going well. You need to have a plan. Who do you need to talk to? What evidence are you looking for? What is the easiest, most focused path that you can follow to get the information you need? Otherwise, you could be going around in circles when you have a lot of other things to do. You have other responsibilities and you want to keep your investigations as focused as possible. Prevent you from doing your job, from impartially evaluating the facts. So is your bias preventing you from evaluating the facts? So now we're making the, the progress. That's something that we can actually look at. So if you have legal bias, A plus B, and that is what drives C, your finding, then you have a problem. So just claiming the investigator was biased isn't enough. Just proving that the investigator has a bias in their life isn't enough. When someone appeals or argues that an investigation was biased, they have to show that that bias impacted or prevented the decision maker or investigator from doing their job, from investigating. Right. When you use that formula in whatever way you're, it works for you, it makes identifying a biased investigation actually pretty simple. It's not as complicated as we make it, as we think it is. It almost takes more work to do a biased investigation than to just do it right. But you can't take a case personally. You don't know what you don't know. You're just learning this. You're just learning this puzzle, not knowing what the issue is. You may start to think it's something that turns out to be something for you. You don't know what evidence they hold or what you need until you get it. But you won't get it unless you ask for it. But you can't ask for it because you don't know what it is. So you ask for it. And then again, after you've kind of directed them on where, on what's important and what's relevant, then you can ask them to channel it. Because again, you don't know everything that every relevant to this. So you have to look at the totality of the circumstances and everything else. Maybe there is nothing else. Maybe there's nothing else to go on. And so you can't really draw a conclusion based on that simple text. But the investigator's job is to look for all that, include it all in the report so the decision maker can actually make a decision.